A huge roundup in New Jersey this morning. And tonight, nearly four dozen people, including three city mayors and two state legislators, are under arrest. Charges here include bribery, money laundering, and no one has seen anything quite like this case. The story tonight from our justice correspondent, Pete Williams. Federal agents started the roundup at 6 a.m., arresting mayors and state legislators in New Jersey and rabbis in a parallel case in New York, 44 in all. New Jersey's corruption problem is one of the worst, if not the worst, in the nation. Corruption is not only pervasive, it, become, it has become ingrained in New Jersey's political culture. Hello, Mayor. Three mayors were charged with taking bribes. Hoboken's Peter Camerano, Dennis Elwell of Secaucus, and Anthony Suarez of Ridgefield, along with Leona Beldini, the deputy mayor of Jersey City. FBI agents were listening in as officials met in diners and parking lots with an undercover informant posing as a real estate developer looking for favors. It appears that whenever the informant waved around money, hands reached out to grab it. Some $650,000 in cash paid to city and state officials and go-betweens. Court documents say Hoboken's mayor was recorded telling the informant, you're going to be treated like a friend. And when the informant described himself to Mariano Vega, a Jersey City official, as being in good hands, Vega replied, like Allstate. For these defendants, corruption was a way of life. They existed in an ethics-free zone. Jonathan Deanst of New York's WNBC-TV, who broke the story, says federal agents made a surprising discovery. The FBI says it also stumbled upon a Brooklyn man who was offering to broker the sale of human kidneys. They say for $160,000, he would find donors in Israel who needed the money and then fool U.S. hospitals that the donor and recipient were related. They say he'd been doing this for more than 10 years. And prosecutors say rabbis at synagogues in New Jersey and New York helped the informant launder over $3 million by sending it to contacts in Israel who returned cash. The FBI says some New Jersey officials appeared suspicious of the informant, but never wary enough to pass up the cash. Pete Williams, NBC News at the Justice Department.